Hey there, Clayton Stuffelbeam, PFR Agronomist with Max Hybrids. Today we are in one of the ground versus airplane versus drone trials here in Bloomington, Illinois. Actually, this is the location that we had the uh, dig video on. And so I'm back scouting it today, taking a look. And I just wanted to take some time here to show you the difference in the leaves. Then we'll go out to the field. I got my untreated control left, ground machine here in the middle, plane, and then the drone. These are all, these are all ear leaves. Um, really between the ground machine, plane, and drone, I don't see much difference at all. However, we get into the untreated control. And walking through the field, it was heavy southern rust in that treatment. But the leaves, ear leaves, were less, um, had less disease on them than leaves below the ear leaf level. So we'll go out to the field here, we'll take a look. Actually, before I get there, I did find my first tar spot of the season in this particular field you can see the tar spot right there and then here's kind of a singular leaf of what the heavy southern rust could actually look like there in the field let's go ahead and go out there and take a look okay we are in the ground machine treatment of the trial what i notice here very healthy plants from top almost down to about the bottom third or quarter of the plant we're starting to lose leaves already. We walk through here, a little bit of tar spot right here on that leaf. Um, I'm not seeing it really plant wide as far as plant to plant, but there are some examples here of tar spot in the field, and this is the ground treatment again. So we are finding a little bit of disease, but as far as southern rust goes, in this particular treatment, we've been able to hold it off with that uh, R1 application of Moravis Neo. Little bit of southern rust right here on that one leaf, but again, that's finding one leaf. You'll see a wide difference when we get to the untreated control. Now we're in the airplane portion of the trial. Um, again, Maravis Neo being used here. I find this, at least my opinion, walking through the field is overall, the airplane is much healthier than the ground machine. Our leaves on the bottom of the plant haven't started to turn yet. And as I walk through this, I'm not finding any southern rust whatsoever. I'm not finding any tar spot or any other disease out here in this trial in Bloomington, Illinois. So when we compare uh, ground machine versus airplane so far, I do believe that, that the airplane pass is holding steady against the ground machine. Now let's go look at the drone. All right, now we're on the drone treatment. As far as disease goes, not really finding anything whatsoever on these plants. Um, compared to the ground machine and the airplane, I do think this treatment, looking down lower canopy, is healthier than the ground machine. Not quite as healthy as the airplane, however, I don't think. Bottom leaves here are starting to burn off. Um, we get about, oh, from the ground level, two or three leaves up. We still got some green here. Uh, but overall, this, this treatment here is very healthy compared to the control, which we're going to next. All right, we'll finish up this crop tour with the untreated control. Um, upper plant, fairly healthy. However, you see southern rust here. A um, lot more lesions on the leaves themselves. We're dying down much uh, lower in the canopy than the other three treatments, being the drone, airplane, and ground machine. You can just see overall a lot more disease here than a lot of the other three treatments. Southern rust there, high in the canopy above the ear leaf. Interesting to see this contrast in this field. We had to come back to this one here even later in the season to see this, this uh, treatment die down even faster than the others. So interesting to look at here. I do believe we'll see a yield difference between these treatments here in 2025. 